Let me ask you something. Do you know who you are? What do you mean? You've got to know who you are in here. You come from a civilization of Africa. Every African American descended from a mighty people in a great land. A land that endured a horror beyond comprehension. More than 20 million Africans transported into the journey of no return. More than 6 million people lost their lives for 300 years. Among millions enslaved, one man's story has become legend. We want the whole world to know that the family of Kunta Kinde are still living in the Gambia. And we didn't want this story to die. Stolen from his homeland. And he was overpowered and they kidnapped him and transport him to James Island. Tortured for his defiance. And I walked into the little room where they said that they kept the strongest Africans to break them. All of my nightmares started in this one little space. A story passed down through generations. When Kunta Kinte was lost, they wrote it down. So Alex Haley found the story with us here. So in 1977, the book roots and the film was all over the world. The week that it aired, I'm doing a presentation with Merv Griffin, I'm giving an award. And the curtain opens, and a standing ovation, I think it's for Merv. So I turn and I start applauding for Merv. And Merv goes, no, that's for you. And I went, what? And I looked out and he said, Chicken George. Now, Elvin Ross Studios invites you to return to St. James Island. It felt like coming back to our roots, coming back home. Someone said James Island again, right? And I go, oh, like it was like, no, this is Kunta Kinte Island. And I meant that from my soul. I have the singular honor and privilege to declare that James Island is renamed Kunta Kinte Island. The island is named after one of Africa's greatest songs. A person that doesn't know their heritage, they're lost. And we need to have more than just Black History Month. We're not slaves. We were enslaved. Kunta Kinte Island, this was ours. This was ours.